SCP-047, Object Class, Keter. SCP-047 is to be contained in a 0.5 meter by 0.5 meter by 1 meter hermetically sealed storage box at all times. This box is to be locked in a storage locker 047A that's inside P3 Secure Biohazard Lab 047B. Any entrance and activity inside 047B will be recorded by biometric scan, closed circuit camera, and blink. Entry to 047B requires the authorization of a project manager in addition to at least one O5 level clearance. SCP-047 is to be treated as priority for contagious biohazard in all protocols, including mandatory quarantine if exposed. Seat Q-047 has been provided adjunct to Lab 047B for this purpose. In the event of outside contamination of 047-1, lockdown protocol 047-01, Yersinia, Yersinia it must be engaged. SCP-047 is a heavily rusted breech glass cylinder made of an iron blank alloy when exposed to open air. The material of the cylinder evaporates slowly, producing a previously undocumented mutagenic gas. The gas has no effect on eukaryotic organisms, well, otherwise, for example, humans, but profoundly alters prokaryotes showing preference for common human microbiota, the natural organisms that live on the skin throughout the body. On rare occasions, these mutations produce a superbug collectively known as SCP-047-1, a natural commensal with enhanced survivability and therefore opportunistic pathogenicity. The pattern of Changes induced by SCP-047 suggest that these highly infectious microbes are, at least to some degree, selected for. Although the specifics of SCP-047-1 species are dependent on the base bacterium on which it is derived, there are several characteristics that appear to be genetically consistent across all cases of SCP-047-1 mutation. Enhanced survivability in the bacterium's natural environment and similar environments full-spectrum antibiotic resistance, increased reproduction rate and consumption of available material, development of sporulation ability in gram-positive bacteria, increased ability to uptake, uphold, and share plasmids, particularly in gram-negative bacteria, increased transmission due to traits described above. SCP-047-1 Samples are normally debilitating and virulent. However, compared to other Cater class SCPs, it should be noted that SCP-047-1 have a relatively low mortality rate due to their action through mundane biological pathways. Several strains of bacteria have been collectively mutated by SCP-047 mutation. Mutation of the bacteria in culture is possible, but the process appears to be much more effective with bacteria living in a human host. Generally, mutation of a natural commensals for experimental purposes is encouraged. After the containment breach of 30-01-2010, see Incidents Yersinia 047-1-2010. Mutation of already pathogenic species is banned and all existing examples must be destroyed. Three particular species of SCP-047-1 mutated in bacteria are of note due to their involvement in the containment breach of blank blank Tony blank. I'm not going to say that name. 047-A is a strain of pro mutated by SCP-047. Pathogenicity Pathogenicity. Severe skin con colonization around sebaceous glands. Sebaceous glands. Sebaceous glands. Modification of skin pH levels that become toxic to skin cells. Massive infl inflammation and immune cell infiltration. Eventual breakdown of skin structure leading to sepsis. Transmission. Transmitted to skin by skin to skin contact can remain active on inorganic surfaces for up to five hours, 
lethality, approximately 40% lethal mortality rate, runs its course in two to six weeks. A very visible symptoms within five to 10 hours, contagious within five, two to five hours. Handling. As soon as symptoms forms, victims must be quarantined. Deceased, and vic deceased victims must be incinerated. Streptoco Streptococcus. 047-C is a strain of Streptococcus mitis mutated by SCP-047 pathogenesis. Pathogenesity. Pathogenesity. Causes inflammation from the mouth and esophagus internally. No, initially leads to open sores in mouth. Open, wait, wait, which results in S047-C entering the bloodstream and becoming septic. Death is usually due to infectious endocarditis. Transmission, droplet, can remain active indefinitely by sporulation. Lethality, approximately 35% mortality rate, may become a recurring chronic condition if non-lethal. Subjects with any sign of mouth infection should be quarantined. Deceased victims should be incinerated. Clostridium 047-A is a strain of Clostridium difficile mutated by SCP-047. Pathogenicity Unknown C-047-A was developed from tissue culture and has never been exposed to human. No samples remain in foundation control. Transmission unknown. Presumably transmitted to fecal contamination, as with C. difficile, due to smaller, more robust spores. Also, may also aerosolize with flatus. Effects of aerosol intake of Z C 047 A cannot be predicted. Un Lethality unknown. Presumed extremely high risk of destruction of endothelial lining of gastrointestinal intestinal tract, leading to inflammation, sepsis, toxic megacolon. Handling until further their research has been done, victims should be quarantined and placed under a twenty-four hour medical observation to not to develop functional diagnostics for the strain. Deceased victims should not be incinerated in, until adequate eth etiological research has been performed. SCP-047 was recovered from the site blank secure laboratory by a Foundation biohazard recovery team in response to a full compromise situation on blank. Testing logs indicates the research team was attempting to contain blank in a class blank SCP stable pressure cylinder, which led to blank combining with blank. A full me molecular biological analysis of this was available in blank. The f initial release of gas for when SCP-047 was structurally compromised was sufficient to cause a microbiological microbiotal boom bloom of uncounted species of SCP-047-1, killing all staff within the lab within blank hours. Exposed site blank. Staff obeyed standard foundation quarantine slash containment protocol, and the infection was contained successfully. Incident report of Yusurna 047-01, 2010. SCP involved. SCP-047. Description on 30-01, 2010. At approximately 0300 hours, storage locker site storage locker 047C site blank lab 047B containing several containing bacterial samples mutated by SCP-047 was compromised after multi, complete simultaneous blank, leading to a failure of security measures in the area. Three samples of total 12 were stolen. Since this initial containment break, outbreaks of one of the stolen bacterial strains, Probe 47A, was recorded globally in communities of increasing size and population density. For their information on soil material spread and containment follows. 
compromised items. Those. <laughs> outbreak information. First outbreak. P-047-A, 2702, 2010. Siberia. Contained. See incident report P-047-A-03-2010. Second outbreak. P-047-A-3003-2010. Northwest Territories, Canada. Contained. See incident report P-047-A-04-2010. Third outbreak, B047-A, 2009-04-2010, South Australia, contained, see incident report, P047-A-05-2010. Fourth outbreak, P047-A, 2007-05-2010, Mato Grosso, Brazil, believed contained, see incident report, P047-A-06-2010. Warning, agents in the area are advised to familiarize themselves with the symptoms of a P047-A and be on the lookout for possible infection. Fifth outbreak, P047-A, 2006-06-2010. Iraq, site immediately blank, which is believed to have contained the infection. Access to incident report denied without O5 clearance. Sixth outbreak, P047-A, 2006-07-2010. Cameroon. Quarantine enacted. Effect efforts to track ongoing civilians underway. Infection not contained. See incident report P047A-07-2010. Seventh outbreak P047-A-2408-2010. Dalarna, Sweden. Quarantine enacted. Believed contained. We uh, see incident Report P047A-08-2010. Warning, agents in the area are advised to familiarize themselves with the symptoms of P047-A and be on the lookout for possible infection. Eighth outbreak, not recorded, believed to have taken place in North Korea. Blank, agents with government's access are attempting to gain access to parallel information, but due to blank, several local services have been extremely uncooperative. Containment status unknown. Ninth outbreak, P-047-A, 2310, 2010. South Carolina, United States of America. Quarantine enacted efforts to track outgoing civilians primarily successful. One civilian in a pickup truck is believed to have blank infection not contained. Resolution. Reports from blank indicate further outbreaks are believed likely, but agents are advised to be on lookout for new flare-ups resulting from uncontained civilians from previous outbreak regions. These may continue for years to come due to P047-A sporulation. Investigation into the cause of initial compromise is underway. Anyone with useful information may anonymously contact security via the attached form.